finally we have a proper hidden staircase. Hey, what's up guys? Welcome back to another redstone tutorial here in Minecraft Pocket Edition. Today we are going to be taking a look at a hidden staircase created by It's Mr. Ghost. He contacted me and showed me how to create this and I thought it was really cool. So let's go ahead and take a look at it. So over here we have our hidden staircase and if I go ahead and flick that lever it should open up and then we could walk down into our hidden room or exit our house safely. And as you guys can see it is is really awesome and it's totally seamless and it's not cheating like those other ones where they just have pistons pushing the block to the side this one actually creates a staircase using pistons and it's just really amazing so now let's go ahead and take a look at how to build this all right so yet again we are building this above the ground since we're on a super flat either way we need to grab a block of our choice place down one two three four blocks just like that with a sticky piston right on top then place down two blocks right over here with two sticky pistons right on top of those then you want to grab yourselves another block of your choice build one block over here then two blocks out then grab another sticky piston place down two sticky pistons facing towards this direction with another sticky piston facing up right over here now once you have that you want to go ahead and destroy these three blocks right over there and then you want to come on over to this side, destroy this block. Then you want to place down a block right up like that, destroy that block, place down a block right down over here, and then destroy the first one, place a block up over here, and then destroy these two. And then you want to place down two blocks right over there, and now we can start adding some other blocks down. Alright, so the next thing you want to do is grab yourselves a slab. You want to make sure it's a slab because that's very important. You want to come to the top section of this piston, place down one, two, three. Then you want to place down a block right at the back of that sticky piston. Once you have that, you want to place down three slab blocks right over here, or just two. And then you want to grab yourselves a block of your choice and or actually more slabs and then place down your slabs at the top section of these blocks place on one two then you want to grab a block of your choice and build up one block like this destroy that block and this block is pretty much supposed to be connecting to this one right over here if you guys are looking to make this properly all right so now what you need to do is place down a block right over here or a redstone repeater then you want to come to the middle fly up or you can just build yourself up and then place down a redstone repeater going into that sticky piston and then a redstone repeater going into that block. Set this to four ticks, set this one to four ticks and finally set this one over here to four ticks. Now once you have that, you want to go ahead and place down two redstone repeaters over here. Set those both to four ticks, just like that. Then you want to place down another redstone repeater there. Leave that on the original tick delay. Then you want to place down redstone dust all along those two blocks over here, then down there, right on top of this block and finally right down over there now once we have that we want to grab a block of our choice place down one block over here then you want to place down one block over there one block uh, up like this and then one block down over there one block up like this and then finally one block down here and there all right, so now what we need to do is place down a redstone repeater going into that block. Set that to two ticks by clicking on it once and then set this one to four ticks. Then you want to place down a redstone dust right over there and place down a bit of redstone dust there. And it should connect all of the redstone up. I almost forgot to mention something. We need to place down a bit of redstone dust right on top of that block in order to activate the second piston. All right, so now let's go ahead and flick that lever right over here by the input. And as you guys can see, it will create that staircase when we turn it on and off. So, so anyway, Anyways, that's basically going to wrap up today's redstone tutorial if you did enjoy it please be sure to take one second to smack the like button to see more tell me what you would like to see next in the comment section down below as well as don't forget to subscribe to see all of my latest videos when I post them if you watched all the way to the end type in hashtag team twist into the comments so I know how awesome you are but anyways this was twist and I'll see you guys next time